Hello everyone, it is Commensum and we are back with episode 2 of the Wolverhampton Wonders uh, career mode. There you can see we sold Jimmy O'Hara and they are considering our loan deal with for Benzia and we're jumping into a game to start off here and it is in the League Cup and it is against our League 1 rivals Colchester. Now, as you may remember we did win our last game in the last episode 5-1. So I decided to move up the difficulty and there, as you can see, it is world class. And yeah, I'm sort of starting to struggle with world class a wee bit as we'll be seeing this episode. So six minutes into the first game here. Oh, we just run through and I'll easily self past the keeper. And I'm feeling that we may have to um, improve our keeper here. So I'm just afraid he's not going to stick up uh, to this world class difficulty. And I may have to bring in a number talent. Who will do us a better job? So, yeah, there's a one well done already. And it's not the greatest of starts. But then we do send him across the back post. And no then he puts him into the top corner. Fantastic finish for him. And a decent cross as well. But I'm not quite sure who sent that in. But then a very no decent cross. Well, he could hardly miss that. From the right wing, that was a perfect delivery. And they so got there. That there. Is us back in at 1 1 at half time. You know, decent position to be, considering it's our first game in uh, onward class. But when you know, uh, later on, in the second fifth minute, he slips through Morrison, and Morrison just slips the ball into the bottom well, corner. I'm sorry for the amount of times I did say so, slip. You you and when you're in this kind of form, why would And get now, back. that is how the game finished 2-1, and we are out of the Capital One Cup. And um, yeah, it's never the best of situations to be in. And after that, we decide we need to strengthen our defence. And we do go looking for a new right back. And I saw about this guy here, Cancello. Looks like a fantastic right back. And is supposed to go into an absolutely amazing player. So, yeah, we do send in a 2.2 million offer for him. As that what is what the club did want. And, you know, it's a very, very decent deal, I think. 2.2 million for the man himself and we just have to inquire about him first and they tell us they want to but they will accept an offer of 2.2 million so you know we will comply with their wishes there as you can see 2.2 million and we will we will just agree with that offer there's no point trying to move them on that it's a very reasonable deal because he probably will be coming up in two or three years time and be worth maybe 10 million and then we can sell him on if we are not happy with how he's playing and you know make a huge profit if and then move on to someone else if we do so wish but you know there we do get asked to attend a press conference and of course we do and we're going to talk about uh, Leighton Orient so that is our next game and we're going to unnerve them and basically say we're going to beat them easily but seeing as we're in world class maybe it won't be so easy and yeah there's a team that we go with there the same as always but we did change up the phone. No, we haven't changed up the formation yet. That is to come. Sorry for spoiling it a bit there. But we are still in the same formation. And yeah, our defence has been performing pretty solidly apart from in that last game. I just think Ricketts is a bit slow for our defence. But you know, he banks the ball. That's in the remit now of the referee. Players not encouraged to put the ball out. It's stopped because the referee says this player needs treatment. One of our midfielders goes off injured. It is Samosa, one of our signings from the free transfers. He is out. He does have to go off injured, unfortunately. There you can see we had him playing left centre mid. And for him we do bring on... Um, who do we bring on? I think we bring on Henry. Or no. Um, yeah, we bring on Rete. And then put uh, Jacobs in centre mid and Saku on the right mid and you know we're going to have to have no no because Lytton and Lytton are by no means a bad team but then in the second half whether it was just my head went or they started playing so much better but you know the goals just started flowing in a good way for the and I know it's an infarct and you know when we go in we can come back from that but we do keep conceding unfortunately the defence doesn't hold up to it and we really, really need our that right back in. This lap just waltzes through the defence, finishes it off there. Pretty nice finish, but you know, should be better doing better to defend that. And yeah, just can't wait to get in. 
Sergio uh, Jao Cancelo, I think it is. Well, this is a team and a half, to be honest. Uh, That's coming in now. Lisbon, what a chance here. He's headed it goalless. Goal! Fantastic header! Touch. Probably still in his team as well, yeah. Well, you don't see it as often as you used to, perhaps. But a diving header here. It's a brilliant sight on a football field. Oh, no. It is, and he just takes time in. Of course not. He got it all right there. Yeah, maybe it's not. They get a corner. Well, they're going to get a corner. Well, they're taking advantage here with a great goal. Well, we don't always see the advantage come good, but they've made use of it here, haven't they? A goal from the very... A horrible goal from the very... Someone have to look at. And thankfully, we do get Benzie in here. Milton Keynes dance 2, Coventry City. For this goal in the next episode. Oldham Athletic 2, Port Vale 2. Preston North End 0. Bristol City 1, Rotherham United 3, Shrewsbury Town 0, Sheffield United 3, Notts County 1, Swindon Town 0, Bradford City 1.